I'm John Bates with Interstellar Barbecue. We are here at La Santa Barbacha to try some barbacoa. As a cook and a chef and somebody who just loves food, I think it's really important to get out and try new things. Texas has an amazing diverse food scene. There's a lot of really great things happening nowadays in Austin and Houston and Dallas. And it's really important for us to get out and try these things so we can continue growing our restaurant and our food here in Austin. Uh, we can do breakfast tacos, casa mm -hmm. barbacha, go for a barbacoa taco, mm -hmm. and then people love our migas and chilaquiles. Oh, I love and migas. Benito tacos also really, really good. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? When I come to a restaurant, I think it's really important to try your favorites. You guys have put your heart and soul what into the it? menu, and you're making, I guess, your favorite food. So how about you guys give me your three or four favorite dishes? I love that. So I can enjoy it through yeah. your eyes. My favorite is barbacoa taco, okay. cilantro and onion with lime. That's my base. Classic, That's I how I grew up um, eating my barbacoa every Sunday. Okay. We also love migas taco. That's my favorite too. Okay. As a second option, we mix the eggs so you can have the barbacoa uh, as a topping. We also make the tortilla by order. Tell me about the, the tortillas. So we make our masa uh, the much as we can. We mm -hmm. bring the uh, corn. Right now we're getting corn from here. Okay. When we first started, it was very hard because we yeah, have a That's a, a lot of work. And then we don't have, we didn't have a place to put the molino. Okay. So we just not get a new molino. And then we're making process and this is the big idea to have more masa and be able to create the tortillas by order but also sell it to customers because people love it. Let's try some food. Let's try it out. Yeah thank you for coming. Yeah happy to be here. This is ridiculous. Man look at that. I mean look at this. First thoughts, are you kidding me? Stuff looks badass. I know it's gonna be good, I can tell already. <laughs> So this is uh, Benito. It has uh, refried beans at the bottom, uh, some chicharrón with tatemada salsa, barbacoa, queso fresco, and avocado, some greens just for top. And then we have a queso barbacha, melted cheese, barbacoa, cilantro, and onion. We, only, uh, we also have a uh, migas taco. We like to mix the chips with cilantro and onion mm -hmm. in la plancha. And then we add a little bit of cheese. And then we have a uh, barbacoa as a topping. Also have avocado on it. And then we have a uh, chilaquiles. We have a uh, house-made uh, salsa. And then the basic taco. The classic barbacoa the taco. Classic Please enjoy. Beautiful. What is barbacoa? Mm. That's really nice. That takes me back home. Growing up in Corpus Christi, going out for barbacoa on the weekends. Like I love tacos and especially meaty breakfast tacos like barbacoa and carne quesada and these, these things that I grew up with, but I don't really find them here. That's, that's why we try to keep the menu as small, focuses on one thing, which is here is barbacoa. We can focus on the quality of this moment is we just prepare one protein. Very nice. Smart, keep it simple. Yeah. Make it really good. I'm dropping stuff everywhere. It's so good. The mingas are nice too. I love the crunch of the tortilla, the onion. I think yeah, but, add a little bit of heat to it. Yeah, but yeah. the tomatillo is in it. That's my favorite part right there. <laughs> the chicharron. <laughs> I like those rich fatty meats. Mm -hmm. With, especially with the beans. The combination of the refried beans with the fatty meats for me is like that, that perfect thing. Like I love chorizo and bean together as well. Yeah. The starch takes to the fat so nicely. That is Benito taco. That's the Benito? Yeah, Benito is being one of the most uh, sellers. That habanero sauce has got a little yeah, bit of kick. I like it. Yes. It's got some zip. But uh, you know you're alive. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Look at this beautiful giant homemade corn tortilla. You would make the mistake of thinking it was just like a regular quesadilla <laughs> and not realizing that you've got all this beautiful barbacoa on there and you've got this homemade, like, beautiful corn tortilla. Just chomp on it. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. I love the crispy edges from the plancha. Yes, that's really Toasting important. Toasting, get a little bit of crunch on there. This is a whole different level because it's completely different. You get all those textures. It seems like in this world there are people who love chilaqueres and there are people that love migas. They seem to pick a side. I like them both. I don't choose a team, but I'm really excited about this. The egg is cooked perfectly. I'm guessing this is probably not just an average egg. It's a, probably a, a free range egg from a local farm or something. Local eggs here in Austin. And that's one of the things that we want to continue working this year. And the nice thing is and you're supporting it. local. Like that yeah. money's going back into the local economy. Exactly. Wow. I feel silly for not having come over here sooner. Never too late, you know? Oh, never too late to join the family, yeah, right? From my family to, to yours. 
No, Beautiful it's like, food. I'm so happy to meet you and I'm wow. so happy that you stopped by. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for your time. It was all really good, but definitely some of the highlights. This amazing quesadilla. It's got that beautiful crunch. For me, taco-wise, my favorite was definitely the, the Benito. Chef mentioned it's a little bit of everything from the trailer. You get the whole deal on this one, so that's definitely a go-to as well. What a great meal we've had here today. If you've enjoyed seeing this, you want to follow me on this journey, trying great food here in Austin and throughout Texas, please make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.